An IHS student performs across the pond. Frisco ISD deals with busing difficulties and get ready to shred. We're headed to the skate park today on Night TV. Ever to conquer, never to yield for Independence High School. This. 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 This, this is Han. This is Night TV. Good afternoon, Knights. It's Thursday, September 1st. I'm Addison Williams. And I'm Caroline Bressler. Every summer, the National Youth Orchestra brings together the brightest young musicians from across the country. This summer, junior Danielle Yoon joined the young performers on stage. Here's Layla AJ with more. With NYO's comprehensive audition process and multi-week training residency, only a select few make the cut. First we went to New York and we stayed there for about two weeks to rehearse and we played a concert there and then we flew out to Amsterdam first and then Berlin and then Italy and then our last stop was Switzerland. Many musicians dream of one day playing at Carnegie Hall. You not only performed on one of New York's biggest stages but also at a vast number of other concert halls across Europe. Out of all of the tour stops, I think Carnegie was one of my favorites. Um, it's like a venue that I've seen so much like on the internet or like on YouTube, just watching other people perform. So being able to be in that space was um, just unreal. From playing music from the age of five to now, Yuna is starting to see a future in music beyond NYO's stage. I would have to like owe a lot of my experiences to my mom because she was the one that kind of started me. I started when I was five, so I had like no like personal like opinion or like definite like decisions in mind. So I'm really grateful that she pushed me to start music. Before this summer, I didn't really have any plans of going into music. Um, but again, this past summer, like all of the incredible experiences I've had, um, it's starting to make me consider um, playing cello um, beyond high school. The summer-long program has brought together students from all over the U.S. I met some of the most amazing people. I know since the music world is so tiny, um, everyone knows everybody. So I know that I'm going to keep on running into them and I'm so glad that I got to meet them. Night TV News, Layla AJ. You can watch Yoon and the rest of the IHS Orchestra perform together at their fall concert on October 18th at 7 p.m. The varsity volleyball team has dominated their preseason so far, taking first place at the Mesquite Tournament and second place in the Allen, Texas Open Tournament. I stopped by the court to talk with some of their newest members. Finding your place in high school can be tough as a freshman. The IHS volleyball team has welcomed four freshmen to their varsity team. The girls come from different experience levels, and even though the freshmen are only three weeks into their first high school volleyball season, they are already finding that the IHS volleyball team is the community for them. I loved it so much. I love all the girls. They're so nice, and just like the complete experience has been awesome. The upperclassmen on the team help set up that bond with the younger girls. I definitely like it because I can like kind of take them in like under my wings, kind of like how I was a freshman and like what the seniors and juniors did to me. The impact that the freshmen have on the upperclassmen is not only on the court. What they can bring to the table, whether it's on the court or on the bench, like just having them there as support is really nice and knowing that they can grow through the next four years. Aside from the team's friendships, there are a lot of other parts that play into being a freshman on varsity. Bedell has three years experience on the varsity team and says that the speed of the varsity game is like no other. Karuth shares her thoughts on how the many long practices are paying off. I've learned so much from Larwa and Weaver and all the other girls, especially like Anita. She's been great like this whole entire time telling me what to do and like what we're running. Having younger girls on varsity is important for the future of the team. Whenever we have like the freshmen or sophomores, like they're the new upcoming class. So it's nice having them on varsity because like they know what the game's like and they're ready for the next few years. The Knights varsity volleyball team is ready and excited to continue their already successful season and are looking forward to the rest of the year with their teammates. For Night TV News, Caroline Bressler. You can watch volleyball play here at IHS next Tuesday. Games begin at 5.30 p.m. Buses are a critical component of the nation's infrastructure. Schools across Frisco ISD are facing a significant shortage of drivers. Join Night TV's Sam Rainey as he speaks with the district on how to combat the issue. 
With school back in session, students go about all means of travel in order to get to school. However, Frisco ISD, along with the rest of the nation, is facing a bus driver shortage. Director of Transportation, Jared Castor, offers some advice as to what the FISD community can do to help our bus drivers. Just be patient with us as we're um, exhausting every resources that we possibly have in our department. If riding the bus is not a necessity, if they could carpool, that would help alleviate the overcrowding on some of our buses. Kester also details the daily impact bus drivers have on every student they meet. Typically our bus drivers are some of the first people that the students see each morning. And so our, our bus drivers are tasked with greeting each student with a smile, a uh, fist bump, a handshake. And that's an important role because that sets that student up for success for the rest of their day. And um, being able to make a positive impact in a, in a student's life is really important to our department. Shortages of drivers have placed more strain on an already complicated three-tier route. They run a three-tiered route um, in the morning, which they will service elementary schools, then they will go on to their middle school run, and then finally the third tier is their high school run. If you're looking for a job or wanting to help spread the word about open positions, FISD could use your help. It, you know, we're just trying to um, recruit and spread the word as much as possible about the open positions that we have. We have driver positions, uh, monitor positions available, and even crossing guards. So if um, you or someone you know is interested in working for Frisco ISD, um, please uh, let me know. My name is Jared Castor. I'm the Director of Transportation for Frisco ISD, and I would love to have the opportunity to have a conversation with you. For Night TV News, this is Sam Rainey. Throughout high school, it is important that students are able to apply themselves in real-world situations and participate in classes that relate to what, they, what, to what careers they are interested in pursuing. Here's Cameron Buen Haroon with more on the academic diversity of the CTE Center and how it's preparing students for a successful future. The Career and Technical Educational Center, also known as the CTE Center, is a place for students interested in a certain career field, and this place can begin in their early training for their career. Um, I hope they learn whether or not engineering is the right pathway for them, um, and I hope to help them decide which major they might like to choose when they go to college, also to show them how broad engineering is, and that um, the basics is you have to love math. Students can participate in an innovative environment that stimulates their future career field. These classes are both self-paced and teacher-taught. Um, you know, don't shy away from doing, you know, math calculations, physics calculations, um, and just be ready to learn every day something new um, or working on a big project, something of that sort. Students make professional projects for their real-world careers. So I've learned that sketching is a big part of architecture, which I really didn't know previously, and something I need to work on, but it's, it's better to design a blueprint than model, I guess. I decided to take architecture because like, you can use your creativity in it, and also uh, like going through Instagram or whatever and just seeing like, cool buildings like that, it really inspires me, and I just it would be cool to learn how to do that better. They actually had an opening for um, for this type of position over here and I came up and interviewed and whenever I saw this building I was just like oh yes this is my new home. These are the more opportunities that the CTE Center can offer you. This place can give you the required knowledge to apply what you want to do and open the door to your desired career opportunity. Finding your own niche can be tough but luckily Frisco seems to have a place for everyone. Night TV Saisha Agrawal took a look into one of Frisco's growing sports skateboarding. With hundreds of wheels rolling across cement, slams, riptides, and ollies all around, the skating community in Frisco thrives on producing individual growth in skaters. Skateboarding is a sport and it's not much of a team sport, it's a, a self sport. Like there's no one coaching you but yourself and when you achieve something by only you, it makes it feel so much more better. Not only does the skate culture in Frisco nurture individual growth, it also nurtures artistic individuality. I feel like I'm my own person. I skate my own style, like there's no one that can skate like me, I guess. And it makes me feel like no one can replicate what I'm doing. And everything I'm doing can't be replicated again. 
So it's like every time I skate, it's like a new performance. Skate culture in Frisco transcends age. Under the big Texas sky, skaters from all walks of life create bonds through their love of the sport. I've got a lot of friends out here, all ages from 13 to, to 44 like myself. It's a great thing because I, mean, I meet all kinds of people. I mean, from all corners now. That's what skateboarding kind of means. Overall, Frisco's skate culture is a melting pot of creative, social, and athletic diversity. From Night TV News, this is Saisha Agarwal. Want to check out some local skate parks? Check out Night News on Instagram for details on Frisco's nearest local skateboard. And now for your IHS update. The freshman JV and varsity volleyball teams play tomorrow at Bishop Lynch High School. JV and freshman games begin at 5.30. Varsity football faces off against Heritage tomorrow at the Toyota Stadium. Starting at 7 o'clock p.m., make sure to come with a Western themed outfit. New parking permits must be displayed on student vehicles by the beginning of September. Paperwork can be picked up and turned in at the AP office, and permits can be purchased through online school fees. Attention juniors, NASA's High School Aerospace Scholars applications are now available. Students are able to explore different STEM-related fields of study that they may want to pursue. Applications are open until October 20th. Pink Out shirts are on sale now. All money collected from the shirt sales will be going to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Short sleeve shirts are $12 and long sleeve shirts are $18. Both shirts are now available on online school fees. Alongside Pink Out shirts, yearbooks are now on sale as well. Order before September 16th and you'll be getting the lowest price of the year, guaranteed. Yearbooks can be personalized with multiple different icons and letters that students can, can add. Order today at JostensYearbooks.com. Join the IHS band at Chipotle from 4 to 8 p.m. for their annual fundraiser on September 7th. Orders can be placed online or in person, and all purchases will go towards the IHS band booster club. Make sure to show a digital or paper flyer for proof prior to paying. This weekend is a four-day weekend. On Friday, September 2nd, and Monday, September 5th, there will be no school. Be safe and enjoy your time off. For Night TV, I'm Caroline Bressler. And I'm Addison Williams. Be sure to check out us on Instagram and YouTube at nightpress.org and follow us on IHS Night News to stay up to date with all things independence. Have a great day, Knights, and we'll see you next time.